what's good my Tasmanian squad I haven't done that in a while so anyway uh, I did a poll on Instagram to see which video or what type of animation video you guys want me to do uh, it was my first relationship or stupid things I do and since that they were so close I'm gonna try to do both now I'm doing my first relationship first and then the stupid things I do later anyway press that subscribe button turn on that bell notification and I hope you guys enjoy the video you're the best part of me, that's true Don't let them tell you that we ain't gon' up They don't know what they talking about So baby, I'm never giving up on us Baby, I carry the cross Sorry this video took me so long to make. I wanted to have a custom background in my work, but due to computer problems, I had to cut that out of the video. So this is what I got so far. Plus, I wanted to change things up with my animation videos. Watch this. Ready to learn, baby, let's make a deal. Yeah. Tell me what you want and I'ma do it. Tell me who you like and I'ma do it. Sorry, I have no clue what that was. I just decided to put it in the video. Your first relationship is supposed to be something special. It's the first time where it's not you, but it's us. Let's be honest, the first person that you decide to be in a relationship with won't be the person you're spending the rest of your life with. But either way, you'll always remember the first relationship has something special. Unless you were me. This was my first and last relationship because after this, no one else would consider dating me. But that's not the point. The point is, my first relationship was a complete train wreck and if I could go back in time and stop myself, I most likely would. This is how it all started. This started at the prime of dating, high school, where if you weren't dating, then you were a loser to the eyes of your high school peers. So I was in ninth grade, England lunch with my two homies, William and Daniel. And I remember seeing this new girl walked into the lunchroom. Now I went to a very small private school where you pretty much know everybody in there. So you can pick out the new people that are new and the people that are old. And she came in in the middle of the year. She was wearing this pink big zebra like coat and wore a bunch of lipstick. But I didn't really care because everybody has their own style. So the day went on and she was assigned to my PE class and our health class where you have 20 minutes of health and like an hour of gym. So if you know me, I like to make sure that the people that are new feel welcome and their first day is less intense. The person who was showing her around, well, let's just say she had other priorities. So I explained the work that we had to do for health class and what cool events that the school has set up for this year. But then all of a sudden my body started tingling and telling me that, bro, she's digging you. And I was like, what? We just met. Why am I getting this feeling? Then my body told me that she was planning on asking me out. Now I can read people's body language pretty well. Like I get confused by the words every now and then, but all in all, I can understand the language. But I couldn't shake this feeling that she wanted to ask me out. Then I saw her slide me a piece of paper and guess what it said. I was shocked and confused and I didn't know what to say because I had never been in a relationship before. I was just sitting there staring at the letter. Then she wrote down another letter and slid it over to me. Oh, by the way, she was sitting next beside me the whole time so she could have just told me but I guess the notes were just easier for her. I got the next note and what was written down shocked me to my core. Like I was a deer in the headlights. Nobody has ever gotten a note like this before. Not after meeting someone for the very first day. She told me something that you would only talk about after like a year or more of dating. Maybe even longer than that. The note read, my father raped me. I was shocked and terrified because that is like the biggest sin into my eyes. And she told me like it was nothing and we just met. Then she told me to rip out the note and swallow it. I told her that I won't do that, but I'll flush it down the toilet. So I went to the bathroom like, what? What do I do? What do I say? Because if I say no, will she kill herself? Because those type of victims have to have time to rebuild themselves. Even then, some of the pieces 
can't be put back together. So I told her that I would think about it and talk to my two closest friends about the situation. One of the friends said go for it because it will be a good experience for me to start dating because I never been in a relationship before. I mean, I tried, but it never worked out. Plus everyone was in one in the time and other people that were in a relationship never talked to each other or hang out in high school. So I thought this would be easy and I was scared that me saying no to this girl would push her over the edge and she might hurt herself because of me. So I decided to tell her yes. Worst mistake ever. Because everybody made fun of me because of this girl, even my whole basketball team. I think it was because of all the lipstick she wore and she was a little bit weird, but she was nice snow so I just ignored them. During the week we were quote unquote dating. There was this event at the school where we had chapel every week and at the middle of the message she wanted me to hold her hand. I never held a girl's hand before other than my parents of course and that was to help me cross the street and my two homies were just laughing at me. They start giving me some pointers about uh stuff. There was one thing that every high schooler has done except for me and that is kissing. Now I had no idea how to kiss someone but I was told the first kiss in a relationship should just be a peck and after that that's when you just start going down on them and well that's just what I did. I gave her a love pack and then the next day that was a joke that was a joke I'm just joking just trying to break this tension but I guess the best term to use is make out. Now let me tell you something um she liked to speak in tongues a lot <coughs> So I was just really just going through the motions of, you know, typical high school relationship stuff or so I thought, but I noticed that she was really clingy. Like where I sat down, she would sit down where I would go. She would go. There was a time where she almost followed me into the bathroom. So I decided to break up with her because in a relationship, you have to have ties with each other. You don't just go out doing the motions of the relationship. You experience and evolve in the relationship. If you don't have feelings for the other person, or you're just miserable in the relationship, then you shouldn't be with them. If you think that you can make it work, sure, go ahead. But if it's just fights and distrust, then it's time for you and the other person to separate. So I decided to break up with her before chapel. So if she needed a shoulder to cry on, she would have God. Now I know that sounds bad, but this is high school me and it was genius. I told one of my closest friends that I was planning on breaking up with her and he agreed, even though he told me to date her in the first place. So I took the long and private way to chapel so that I could break up with her. Then my other friend decided to walk right beside us and ask, why are we taking this way to chapel? I couldn't believe that he followed us. Like couples usually go somewhere private to have private time because when he decided to go off with his girlfriend for some private time, I walked the other way because that's just what you do. But this is the first time it didn't click in his head about it. So me breaking up with her before chapel, that didn't happen. So I had to wait till lunch because I won't see her until then. I told my friend later in class that I was going to break up with her and he said sorry for butting in and I should have told him so that he would have known. I got murder on my mind. AK I don't understand this because if I was really into this girl, why would you follow us? Rule number one, never follow couples when they are going somewhere private because they are probably doing something that they don't want other people to see. Okay, okay, that's the last time I'm gonna use this joke. So lunchtime came around and we left to talk. She probably thought I wanted to take her somewhere private to do other things, but that wasn't the case here. I took her to the locker room area, not in the locker room, but around the spot of the locker room and began talking. But then I heard a knock coming from outside. I turned my head and the whole girls field hockey team was stuck outside and just watching us from the window. The sad part is most of the team consisted of my classmates and they thought we were doing something that we shouldn't. Like what are the odds man? So I took her upstairs because nobody is upstairs when it's lunchtime because the lunchroom is downstairs. So we walked upstairs and guess what? 
the teachers decided to have a hallway meeting. Like how unlucky am I? My teachers has never had a hallway meeting before. Just today was just special for them apparently. Finally, I just had enough and I broke up with her. I don't remember what I said, but I know she definitely was not happy with me. Later in gym class, she was sitting by me and passing me notes about how I hurt her and how she was going to do things to herself that was harmful because of me. And I felt bad because I dated her for the experience of dating, not because I liked her. My friends thought it would be a good way to introduce me to the idea of dating and introduce me to the dating world since I never dated anyone before. The next day I was walking down the hallway and one of my classmates stopped me and said that my girlfriend asked him out. This was the day after the breakup. Then I realized what the relationship was for her. She wanted someone to love and treat her like she was special because of all the stuff that her dad put her through. She was trying to find a way to wipe away the past, but dating anyone to fill that hole in her heart. She didn't need a relationship to do that. What she needed was a friend. And unfortunately, I didn't catch that until everything went down. Later, I found out that she left the school, and that was the last time I would ever see her again. This whole relationship drama was in like one week. But I can tell you right now, I have learned a valuable lesson about relationships. So yeah, that was um that was a pretty interesting story. Uh, you might be asking, what's my take on relationships now? They suck. I'm at the point where I just don't care to be in one. After a while of people always saying no or just like giving you some lame excuse, it sort of takes a toll on you after a while. I'm at the point where I'm just like numb. I, I don't need to be in a relationship anymore. It's just something that's caused so many problems for me in the past that don't want anything to do with it. And that's fine. There are people like that in the world, you know, who don't feel the need to be in one. And there's also other people out there in the world who just needs to be in a relationship so that they can feel validated. I am not that type of person anymore. I used to be. After 22 years of experience with, well, the one relationship I had and then me trying to get or find that mutual connection. I got YouTube and I got close friends and that's really all you need. So press that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification and I'll talk to you all in the next animation video. The stupid things I like to do or stupid things I do. Peace. I don't need nobody else to believe in my dreams. I know that I got it all. I know that it's all inside of me. And you can think that I've gone crazy. And that I'm living in my imagination Maybe you're right and maybe I'm wrong But I make you see I'm bound for greatness I'm bound to take on the world Bound for greatness Bound to be a king yeah. Bound for greatness Bound for greatness